All right, so today we're going to be making a very simple leaning mechanic similar to Rainbow Six Siege or Planet Unknown Battlegrounds. Um, I could not find very many tutorials or, or information on how to do this in kind of a quick and simple way, so that's what we're going to do. Um, we have a blank map with just a first person character here. So let's go ahead and add our leaning mechanics. The first thing you're allowed to do is go to Edit, Project Settings, left side, go down to Input. And you're going to want to click the plus, create two action mappings. I already made these two here. We're going to have lean right, assigned as the E key, and lean left as the Q key. I um, recommend doing it here in action mappings. That way, if you need to change the keys or add you know, additional keys for like a controller, you can easily change it here. After that's done, you want to go to your first person character's event graph. And you can just go ahead and call those functions that we just made. So lean right and lean left. And the way that we're going to accomplish this is going to be using timelines. So we're going to want to first create a timeline. We'll do lean right first. And this timeline will be a float track. The length of the timeline will be how long or how quickly you want it to transition from your leaning. So we'll have a length of 0 0.2. We'll create two keys here. First one is going to be 0 with a value of 0. And the second will be our length of the track, 0 0.2, and a value of 40. Now, what, what does this 0 and 40 correlate to? Well, let's take a look here. So we're going to have our character here, the viewport, and we're going to make them lean. So, for example, 40, that's going to be your lean. Um, the way we're actually going to accomplish it, though, we're not going to be leaning the mesh. We're just going to lean the entire capsule component. That way, if you're behind cover, you're going to be harder to hit since you're, you know, you're leaning over. If you're using a line trace on your capsule component here, so with the timeline, it's going to be fairly straightforward. When you press the lean key, it will play, and when you release it, it will reverse it. Now, how do we take the float and make our character lean? Um, it's going to be fairly simple here. We're just going to set the relative rotation. Um, so you can just go ahead and grab one relative rotation here. And with the timeline as it's updating, we're going to be setting the relative rotation. So the new rotation, we don't we only want to change um, the x-axis, I believe. So what we're going to do is split. So we have access to all the pins in float format. And the one that we're working with is going to be our roll. So if you just plug it into roll, you can go ahead and, oops. So make sure with the relative rotation, you're going to get the target of what we're rotating. Like I said, in this case, we're going to do the capsule component. And you can kind of see everything starting, starting to come together now. So if we go ahead and play, and you click E, you have a lean. Now there's a few problems. So if you lean and then you move the camera and then release, it kind of snaps. Um, does not look very good, not functional. So we're going to have to add, add a few more things here to get that fixed up here. Because it's actually setting the relative rotation to these right here, the pitch and the yaw. So we're going to want to create references there. So with our capsule component, what we're going to want to do is get the world rotation. And then similar, we're just going to want to split this pen so we have more keys. So we're setting the X with our timeline. The Y and the Z will actually come from our capsule components rotation. So you can just go ahead and plug those in. And that will look a lot better if you lean and release. See, it gets rid of that snapping since it's updating. And what we're going to do is pretty much the same thing here for the lean left, just with um, kind of a different timeline. So we're going to create a new timeline. Oops. So add timeline. Um, this one is going to be very similar, a float. You could use the same length. First one's going to be 0, 0. Second one, we're going to actually do 0 0.2. 
and instead of 40, we're looking at negative 40 for the opposite direction of learning. So play, reverse, and you can pretty much just copy and paste what you made here. It's very similar. Update and the track. Um, so now you can test this out. There's going to be one problem here that we're going to fix. So you can lean left, loop around, release, or lean left now, lean right, release. Now the problem is if you're trying to lean rapidly, you see, you know, if you just click them back and forth, you're going to have some uh, issues there. So we're going to want to clean this up here with a simple branch and float test. So under your variables, just create a new float. Let's name this one float here. And what we're going to be doing is actually setting the float as our timeline. So go ahead and set float. And be sure to do the same for both your leans. Now, like I said, we're going to have a simple branch here to see if you can lean. So we'll have two branches. So if you press lean, what we're actually going to be checking is um, if you're back in the original position. That way it's going to look a lot smoother. So with our branch, what we will do is create a float equals float. And we're going to get our float that we made here that's being set from the timeline. So we're going to make sure that equals zero before we're able to lean the other direction. So go ahead and copy and paste that over. Add it to your branch. You can go ahead and compile, save, lean right lean left and if you try and do it quickly it's a lot smoother since you're not creating those overlapping timelines and it, it looks pretty good this should work with like a simple first person template and I think that's about it if you know you want to change the timelines you definitely can do that um, but this is just a quick way to do it using timelines and having the float and branch check definitely makes things a little bit more smooth. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you know, put them in the comments. Um, like I said, fairly simple. You can definitely expand on this. It's kind of good for just prototyping your leaning mechanics.